As of 6 p.m. on Sunday, the Trinidad and Tobago Meteorological Service has put Trinidad and Tobago under a tropical storm warning. We join the other islands of Grenada, Barbados and St. Vincent coming under tropical storm warning as well. Uh, just to be named that uh, basically uh, the system that we are looking at is an area of uh, low pressure just passing towards the north of uh, French Guiana, making its slow track west-northwest, staying over open waters for the most part, but it may well begin to affect Trinidad and Tobago and the southern Windward Islands late on Monday and going into uh, Tuesday. But there is ability of uh, some of that the development becoming slowed simply because of a lot of wind shear towards the north but it is a fast moving system as well so as it moves closer to the island chain it does increase the possibility of it developing a further and we'll likely be watching that as we go through the next few days so the likelihood of this system being named the next system on the named list will be brett we had arlene earlier on in uh, april and as it makes its way closer towards uh, the island chain obviously we begin to feel the effects uh, by late on uh, monday now, bearing in mind that uh, this swath here is uh, quite wide and uh, the system does have a core of winds around it up to 55 kilometers per hour but any slight shift in uh, that wind could well cause any adverse effects both for trinidad and tobago as well as further up the island chain and on the northern side of this system this is where you will see the strongest winds so in terms of uh, the rain that will definitely be the major factor up to 100 millimeters of rainfall likely in that little red spot there passing uh, through again close to tobago trinidad up towards the barbados and st vincent as well so they're quite concerned about that but for us you'll see some brightness first thing and then you'll get the clouds beginning to build as you go later into uh, monday evening and overnight conditions will deteriorate quite quickly especially along uh, the eastern coastline so be mindful about that if you're along in Toco, Manzanilla, up towards uh, Tobago's Windward Coast as well. You'll be watching things uh, clouding over and getting quite showery and thundery by the time we get to uh, late on a Monday night and going into Tuesday morning. In terms of uh, temperatures wise, it will likely be around 32 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 31 in uh, Tobago. And uh, the outlook is that as the system makes its way past, could see we still be seeing some of those heavier bursts, especially on a Tuesday. Some of the tropical storm force winds are possible to come out of that system, especially around the Tobago and along the exposed coastlines. And then as it quickly moves out by Wednesday, still a few showers likely as the atmosphere remains unstable. Meanwhile, the Rough Seas Bulletin is in effect for bathers, fisherfolk and mariners. Be alert, especially along those northern, southern and eastern shorelines, looking at waves up to three metres or beyond, especially further out in the Atlantic could be seeing a four meter uh, winds uh, waves as you get towards that late on Monday and going into Tuesday so obviously be mindful about that as you head about your business and uh, obviously just a reminder that Trinidad and Tobago along with many of the southern Midwood Islands is under a tropical storm warning so be prepared.